U.S. backing away from Israel, Geraldo? I think Israel has only itself to blame. I think the force used has been so grossly disproportionate. They have inflicted civilian casualties in a way that the United States and the U.N. Secretary General are correct to call appalling. You don't use tank shells if you're trying to make a precision strike. I've covered war for over 40 years. If you want to use a Hellfire missile directed by a drone, you can put it in a window of a building that you want mm. to. When you're using a tank shell, in this case, the firing that they were receiving was 200 yards, two football fields away from where those tank shells landed. Taking these 10 lives, this is a, a, a travesty. It is putting Israel on the world stage. It is undermining support of the Jewish state. I think so it's, it's hold horrible. Hold on a second, though. I mean, they've obeyed humanitarian windows. They have warned civilians. I mean, they have done a lot to make sure that civilians in Gaza have been protected. If you have firing coming from a school or from a location and Israel fires back on the people who are firing them, are we really holding Israel accountable for that? Are we saying this is your fault? You can't defend yourself? You remember when Bloomberg went over and said the airport is safe. Open the airport. It's ridiculous to open react and close the airport we've got these missiles uh, we've got a uh, you know we've got them wiped out with the iron dome and so forth three Israeli civilians have been killed in the current round one was an Arab uh, uh, farmer just by random the other two were uh, somehow engaged with the uh, with the uh, military 60 IDF soldiers over 1800 Palestinians most of them women and children come on Jedediah and why is it is it is rockets then it my, my point is the, now you have changed though in the 40 years that you You've seen these wars. What has changed? Okay, so it used to be that Israel could fire, and, and in three to six days, because they've been called the three day war, the six day war, they could do things. But there's asymmetrical warfare that these terrorists are getting their hands on now, and this is making it tougher to root them out. So now it becomes a month long conflict. Now it becomes an, un, you know, an unending conflict. And you are going to, as Jedediah says, you are going to have to hit certain targets that you pray you don't have to because they are positioning themselves with more. What are weapons kids that doing reach farther into in Israel. schools in the first place in a war? What are they doing in schools? These are this safe is, houses let me finish, set please. up by the no, United this is Nations. Geraldo, let me please speak. They put these kids in a school. They put weapons deliberately in a school. Then Israel strikes, and people like you get up and defend a terrorist What is a person like me, first of all? What is a person like me? It's an apologist a person like me? for a terrorist organization. You should that be exactly ashamed of yourself did. for saying that to me, of all people. There's a Jewish star tattooed well, on my yeah, hand. I on? am a died Zionist, I would die for Israel. Whose this is appalling. This is appalling. Whose side we are? When there are 1,800 dead civilians and women and children and are bleeding on camera, that? and you are not moved and by that. Whose fault is that? Who's they warned them to move the kids. These, the these kids Palestinian back. missiles are absolutely laughable in their military effect. They, the, they not, the Israel the now is about. Week. Israel now is about to declare a unilateral ceasefire. It could have declared it two weeks ago. Unbelievable to so defend. It is Israel is alone in the so world. Let me they ask you this. And, and, and attitudes like Point yours will make it isolated more and more. What about the other Arab nations?